Okay, we are going to talk about unconstrained optimization. What do you mean by unconstrained optimization? That is to, this one is under production, production function, yeah. So you're going to find the maximum output and, yeah, the maximum output when we have some changes in the input variables. Without, we, um, without the producer facing any constraints, that is facing any um, difficulties in producing that quantity of goods. So we have this question. So the production function of a manufacturer is given by k equal to 3lk plus 3k minus k square minus 3l square plus 25. Where k, um, k equal to the output, l is labor and k is capital. So we have to find the amount of capital and labor to be employed to obtain the maximum level of output. So we want to obtain the maximum level of output when we have this production function. So we are going to start. How do we do it? We have to first of all find the marginal fiscal products. So let's see. We have the production function to be KO equal to 3LK plus 3K minus k square minus 3l square plus 25. So we have to find the marginal fiscal product of labor. What, what do we mean by marginal fiscal product of labor? What it means is what is going to be the change in output when we employ, when the producer employs one labor? Here, when the producer employs one labor. So in this case, we are going to partially differentiate K with respect to labor. We are, we are partially going to differentiate K with respect to labor. And that one is called marginal fiscal product of labor. So meaning that die K die L is equal to M P labor. That is called marginal fiscal product of labor. That is to say that what is going to be the changes in output when the firm employs another labor. And because we are dealing with optimization, that is maximum, which is to say the turning point. And we know that at the turning point, we equate it to zero. At the turning point, we have to equate the function to zero. So now let us set the ball rolling. We are going to partially differentiate K with respect to L. We are going to get die K O die L equal to 3K minus 6L. That is to say that we are only going to differentiate the terms which has N as a variable in them. So we can see that here we have L. And when we differentiate it, because it is 1, we are going to get 1 times 3, 3, then 1 minus 1 becomes 0. And any number with the power 0 is what? 1. We are going to get 3k. With this one, there is no L. This one, there is no L. When we come here, 2 is going to multiply 3, which we are going to get 6. Then we subtract 1 from the exponent. We are going to get 1. And we know any number with the power 1 is that number. So, die k or die L equal to 3k minus 6l. And we said that it is called marginal fiscal product of labor. So this implies that marginal fiscal product of labor is equal to 3k minus 6l. And at the turning point, we equate it to zero. So this one implies that 3k minus 6l is equal to zero equation one. This one is equation one. We are going to apply the same principle. We are going to differentiate K with respect to K. That is the capital. So we are going to get partial differential of K over die K. So we are going to get 3K, sorry, 3L. We are differentiating this. 3L plus 3. 
and this one minus 2k. Because we don't have any k here, we are not going to make use of it. And differential of a constant, differential of a constant is equal to 0. So here to add a turning point, we equate it to what? 0. So this one is equal to MPP what? K. Marginal fiscal product of capital. What is going to be the change in output when we add additional capital? And at the turning point, MPP K equal to what? 0. So meaning we are going to get 3L plus 3 minus 2 equal to zero. equation 2. Because we don't have any constraint in this um, question, we are going to solve equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. We are going to solve equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. Since we are being asked to find the amount of labor and capital that needs to be employed to obtain the maximum level of output. So from equation 1, we could see that we can make one of the variables the subject. So making, making k the subject in equation 1. So we are going to get 3 k minus 6 l equal to 0. So we send this one to cross the equal sign. We are going to get 3 k equal to 6 l. We can divide both sides by 3. Therefore, k equal to 2L. k equal to 2L. Let us name this function as equation 3. Let us um, name this function as equation 3. Now, we, we know k to be equal to 2 what L. We are going to substitute equation 3 into equation 2, since we've now converted equation 1 to equation 3. So let us come here. Put in equation 3 into equation 2. That means that we are going to change k to l. So wherever we, we see k, we are going to write what? 2. Wherever that we see k, we are going to write 2 l. So let's see. From equation 2, we have 3 L plus 3 minus 2 K equal to 0. So wherever we see K, we are going to substitute 2 L into that equation. We are going to get 3 L plus 3 minus 2 into brackets 2 L equal to 0. Let us expand this bracket. We are going to have 3 L plus 3 minus 4 L is equal to 0. Let us, we can now group like terms. So by grouping like terms, you are going to get 3L minus 4L plus 3 equal to 0. 3 minus 4 becomes minus 1. So minus L equal to minus 3. That is when we send this positive 3 to cross the equal sign becomes negative. Now, we were not asked to solve for negative L, but positive L. So we divide both sides by minus 1. We divide here also by minus 1. So negative will cancel negative. Therefore, L is equal to 3. So meaning that therefore, therefore, we need to employ 3 units of labor. Therefore, 3 units of labor of labor needs need to be employed. So we are going to um, now we know L to be equal to 3 and from equation 3 we know that k equal to 2L. So we are, wherever we see L, we substitute 3 into that equation. So we are going from equation 3, k equal to 
f. So mean that k equal to two times three. Therefore, k equal to six. And this one is capital. So to conclude, the firm needs to employ three units of labor and six units of capital in order to obtain the maximum level of output. Therefore, the firm needs to employ three units of labor and six units of capital to obtain the maximum level of output. That is it. So we partially differentiate the variables. Then we use simultaneous equation to solve for the values of the variables involved because it is an unconstrained optimization. Thank you very much. In our next tutorial, um, we are going to look at constrained optimization. Constrained optimization. Thank you. See you. Please don't um, forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.